You are an amazing goalie. One of the best, in fact. When you are in position and you can see the shot, you're almost unbeatable. Problems come when you have to move and then find that position and then see the shot and then make the save. So what I've got for you today are some hand-eye drills that are gonna help you get where you need to be with speed, pick up that puck and make the save. In today's video, I'm gonna help you be one of those boring goalies where it looks like the puck's just always hitting you right square in the middle of the chest. And a key ingredient that you need for that is speed. But you need speed and then you also need to be able to pick up the puck on the fly so that once you get there, you're ready to make the save. And that's exactly what we're gonna cover today. We're gonna look at hand-eye training with an agility element added in. These are advanced exercises, so really, unless you're really proficient at your normal ball off the wall or lightning bolt or catch ball, you know, exercises, this isn't for you yet. You need to practice those so that you're so good at them, they're becoming boring. Uh, and then you can step up to something like this. This is Maria Mountain from GoalieTrainingPro.com. I am an exercise physiologist who specializes in off-ice training for goalies so that you win more games with fewer injuries. Let's, let's get moving. Now you can use the catch ball or the lightning bolt uh, or even ball off the wall for any of these drills. I'm just gonna start out using the kit catch ball. So what we're gonna do is a quick step lateral hop and then I'm gonna try to make the save. So it's like I'm following the play, following the play. I, the pass goes across to the point and I gotta come around to make the save. So, and get on that rebound. If there's a rebound, get on it right away. So even though this one I find super hard, so you have to do both directions. So when I step this way now and then throw the ball, the ball comes as I'm moving back this way, the ball's coming that way. So it's one of those ones where maybe you read the play wrong and you have to reach back. So I'm sliding across, but then, you know, they take the shot against the grain and I have to reach back and try to make the save. It's not a bad idea to video yourself when you work through these so you can see, hey, am I staying low? Uh, am I moving efficiently with my feet? Am I following the ball with my head? Am I popping up and down? Because once we add these layers of neural complexity, we start to lose some of our good habits and our bad, our old habits start to sort of fall in because they're the most natural pattern. So. You know, it's not just about catching the ball. It's about, hey, am I staying low in my legs? Am I moving quick? Am I bending my knees? Am I leaning into the ball to make the save? Uh, or am I leaning away? So watch for those things. I'm sure you saw me make some of those mistakes as I, you know, really had to concentrate more on catching than I was on moving. We're not only gonna work on these habits from our standing position, from our feet, we also need to work on it when we recover from our butterflies. So, I'm gonna do uh, a knee recovery lateral push and then catch the ball. This gets a little tricky because it, it, your knee kind of sometimes gets in the way, so it just takes a little bit of practice. So I'm still trying to lead with my head, make that, get that leg up and then throw the ball. And then same thing, you also have to do it moving the other way, which will be a little bit against the grain. So we also do one where we pivot like we're coming to the top of the crease, pivot back to our post, come across, and then we're gonna slide across and make a save. So, and you can throw the ball at any one of these stages, but it's gonna be pivot, square, pivot, and then as you come across, you're gonna make that save. You know that I love the skills lightning bolt? It makes some of these on the move drills a little bit more challenging because the timing isn't predictable. So you can't, you don't know like, okay, I'm gonna step, step, and then boom, the shot's gonna be there. Sometimes you're over here and the shot's gone. Sometimes, you know, you get back in position and it's like, okay, let's go. So what I try to do in that case, I'll try to give you a couple, show you some examples here, but is if I get into the position where I wanna be, um, 
then I'll just try to keep like moving just, just with my body or my feet, little shuffles so that I'm, there's some kind of movement. I'm not completely set ready for the shot. If I'm way over here and the, and the ball gets released, I'll still try to make a save. I'm not usually very successful at that part of it, but I try. Um, one thing if you're using the skills lightning bolt is be really careful because those balls will be like all around you on the floor and they're soft. Um, they're, you know, they're a little squishy. So I haven't had an issue, but I could see like if you really reached and you stepped on a ball, it could slide out and you could really, really hurt yourself. So I don't think you should use it in that kind of application, but uh, I'm using it here. I'm on my turf and I, I seem to have pretty good awareness of where they are. But again, that's a risk. So you definitely don't want to sprain your ankle. So just, just so you know. And now we get to go around and pick up all the balls that we missed. again because you're wondering well I wonder if I could use that on my slide board if that would work is how would that work or even on your synthetic ice you could you could use it uh, and the answer is yes absolutely you can so again we'll start with pretty basic patterns because as you're about to see even the basic patterns are gonna be very very hard <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a lateral push across pass the ball and try to catch it So you can see how, you know, there's, and there's actually a couple of things going on in particular with my slide board setup, but the same with yours is that, okay, well, it's not just pushing across and catching, but it's also stopping once I get to where I want to be so that I'm not sort of overshooting my crease as it were. And then you can go to trying to just keep a regular rhythm and catching the balls as you go that way. So regular rhythm, boom, boom, across and then trying to catch the ball while keeping <laughs> that rhythm. So you can hear from my huffing and puffing how fatiguing that is as well. And it adds that neural layer. I caught like one of those. So, you know, this, this wouldn't be what I'd spend all my time on. This wouldn't be speed training for me because I can't go as fast as I can go and uh, believe it or not, and throw the ball and think about catching it. My, my motor pattern slows down when I'm distracted with those other things, but it's not a bad hand-eye drill. This one is over my head. I'm best to just go, you know, with the one push, pass and catch. Okay, I got that one. Now I'll do one push, pass and catch. But you see where you're at. Again, read your mind. Could you use the skills lightning bolt with this? Yes. And again, it gets trickier because it's not predictable in when it releases the ball. So it's a little bit tricky. There's a couple ways you can do it. Mine is very close just because the lab is so small. So really, I'm going to try to when I hear the ball or see the ball released, boom, I'm going to try to push across and catch it. That's going to be really hard to do. I don't think I'll catch any of them. The other thing I can do is try to get that regular rhythm and then catch balls as they come, you know, wherever that happens to be. Either way, it's going to be a little wild. <laughs> Just keep
I really want to make this point loud and clear. It's not about finding the hardest, most outrageous uh, hand-eye drill possible. The point of it is to add some movement, to find the level that you're at. If stationary throwing and catching is getting easy for you, then it's time to start adding some movement. You can see how this is way more uh, game specific, way more on ice specific. I even like some of these for conditioning drills if possible. That's where the skills lightning bolt is kind of nice because if I did that pendulum drill, didn't catch a single ball by the way, just so you know, I'm not gonna like, like Kevin could probably edit it <laughs> to make it look like I was catching, but no, no, not a single ball was caught unless it was by accident. I'm pretty sure none of that did, but you know, cause it takes about probably 45 seconds at least for that to, uh, to empty. And then you have to go around and pick up all the balls. So it's got a good little work to rest ratio. Uh, but then again, just know, okay, I'm working on conditioning now. That's my emphasis. If I catch some of the balls, that's great. If not, you know, I'm still working on my conditioning. I'd say as a rule of thumb, if you aren't getting at least sort of, a probably a, 80% like 80% save percentage on a drill then really don't be looking to add more layers of neural complexity if you're trying to train your hand eye a bunch of you are going to notice that I'm wearing my glove for this uh these sets of drills um and there's yes there is a reason and yes you absolutely should be wearing your glove i did a video on why i'll post a link somewhere in the description but check it out if you're doing your hand eye drills using a bare hand you better watch that video and you better start using your glove and i know that some of you are going to ask about this the catch ball this is hands down my favorite hand-eye training tool. It's a tennis ball, it's on a bungee. Um, and I know some of you who've never ever used it <laughs> will, will be looking at it and be like, well, that's just easy. It comes back to the same spot every single time. Actually doesn't. Uh, and you can even change where you, you position it. So I had it around my waist today. That's sort of the easiest. You can also put it up sort of under your armpits. Then I can throw the ball down. I can get zingers that come right up past my ear that I have to catch so um, not that easy cheap um, you can take it with you anywhere you don't need a wall you can do movement with it you don't have to be chasing a ball all over the parking lot or or the you know the arena so I really like it it's um, made by pro lab sports it's just pro lab sports.com i'll put a link in the description you can also check out a video i did with dusan sador jr uh where he really actually knows how to use this really really well i've been practicing for like a year and i i'm getting better i still have trouble when i add movement but i'm pretty good at catching it now so uh you can see a video where he shows you exactly how to use it walks you through it i'll put a link in the description for that as well holy smokes Someone just gave me a like. Thank you very much. I love it when you give me a like because I don't get paid by YouTube, so it doesn't help me in that way. But YouTube then thinks this video is cool and it's like, hey, that person's a goalie. Maybe this other goalie would like to see it. And that helps me spread the word, help goalies do the right kind of training off the ice so they win more games with fewer injuries on the ice. So I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot. If you haven't done it yet, hit the like button, hit subscribe. If you're already subscribed, hit the bell and then you know about videos as soon as they come out. Usually it's Wednesday afternoon. Sometimes I hit you with a special bonus. As a bonus for me, why don't you tell me what your favorite hand-eye tool is? Is it the lacrosse ball? Is it the lava ball? Is it the reaction ball? Is it the lightning bolt? Is it the catch ball? Is it a squash ball? Is it a basketball? Sometimes I like to use a beach ball because it just makes me feel good. I can, I, I can save everything. I don't use a beach ball. That's just silly. But you don't have to pop that in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I will catch you next time. Whoosh.